Israel, brother, I know there is no scripture, sir, or hadith that says God's word and prophecies went to the house of Ishmael. Uh, this is a lie based on observation and not God. All right, so Malachi 3, 6 to the 7. For I am the Lord, I change not. Therefore, ye sons of Jacob are not consumed. Which means he's not done away with us, not killed us, he has put us to death, he has with me. The covenants that he spoke are still, we're, we're, the children broke the covenants, he, he has not forgotten. All right, so to the seven. Even from the days of your fathers, ye are gone away from my ordinances. There he says it, and have not kept them. He's admitting it. But, all right, return unto me. Whether he's been waiting that long or till this day, and some have or some haven't, he's made a command right there. Return unto me, and I will return unto you, saith the Lord of hosts. But ye said, wherein shall we return? All right, because look at our people, brother. <laughs> All right, just look at our people who, who um, we can say they don't believe in the word or they're not. All right, we're, we're talking about the, the ones in the hip hop culture, the, the, the street culture. All right, all of that. All right, so how would they ever return? They're so far gone, bro. Um, man, like you and I, at least in the word, praising the Lord, praising God. All right, so our chances is just increased, but there's nothing that we can do before God to say, Lord, I'm worthy. All right, it's um, his faith and obedience in the most high, period. All right, so let's finish up. He never changed his mind to change things over to the Israelites, not to the Ishmaelites. Hold on, hold on, right? Uh, two lines, not consumed means. He's kept his covenant he made with Abraham and Jacob. All right? And then I said, let's keep going, but that's the one you wanted, so... Yeah, but you just said Israelites, but you typed Ishmaelites. What do you mean? You said he never changed his mind to change things over to the Israelites, but you typed Ishmaelites. So was you meaning Ishmaelites? No, he never changed his mind to change things like the the covenants he never changed over to the Ishmaelites he never changed he never gave the priesthood to the Ishmaelites he gave them kingdoms he gave them yeah he gave them power he gave them rulership he gave them authority over the things that he gave them and blessings nobody's denying that my friend nobody can deny that that's written in scripture Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So now I want to deal with uh, the first thing you said when you talked about um, he has nothing to do. Um, You talked about Muhammad, peace be upon him. You said that he has nothing to do with the God of Israel. But what about Matthew 2143? I want to read that. Matthew twenty one forty three. I'm about okay. to I'm about to go there real quick. This is going to be the book of Matthew chapter twenty one forty three, and it reads: Therefore say I unto you, the kingdom of God shall be taken from you, and given to a nation, bringing forth the fruits thereof. Now, when I look at the Strong's number of the word nation, it is ethnos, and it reads a race that is a tribe, specifically a foreign, non-Jewish, one by usually implication, pagan, Gentile, heathen nation people. So why is Jesus threatening Israel? By telling them the kingdom is going to be taken from them and given to a Gentile, non-Israelite nation. God shall take the kingdom from you and give it to a nation, bringing forth the fruits thereof. What are the fruits? 
This is going into repentance. Okay? Look at, look at. Who are these people to? This is talking about a Gentile heathen nation. That's what the word nation means. When you go to Matthew 41, it says... There is no... Go ahead. Matthew 21, 41. They said unto him, all right, he will miserably destroy those wicked men and will let out his vineyard unto other husbandmen. Yes. Husbandmen, all right, which shall render him the fruits in their seasons. Now, keep going, let's go back up. Who's the day? This is a parable... This is a parable of the nation of Israel getting the kingdom taken from them. God entrusted Israel with the law and they failed. They killed the prophets. Okay. And now he's talking about giving his kingdom to other, other husbandmen, other farmers in this parable is speaking of farmers. Okay. And if you go all the way up, this whole parable is literally talking about something being taken from Israel. Let me ask you a question. In verse 19, when Jesus came to the fig tree, expecting fruit to be on it, and when he cursed it, who does that fig tree represent? That represents, if you go right up here to the 15, the chief priests and the scribes, the Pharisees, them, those those who had the rulership over the word in the temple. And what nation where that first started was the Levites. Okay, so when God said to Moses after the children had made the golden calf, all right, I don't know how you can get much of a more worse offense at that point in time, and still he gave them the law. Moses, Moses, he said to Moses, I'm going to wax out, I'm going to destroy them, and I'll make a great nation of thee. So that nation is just one of the 12. There's 12 nations. So if he takes it from the Levites and he gave it to Judah, and he says the scepter shall not depart from Judah, all right, then what is he looking for, as he says throughout the scriptures, a remnant? That is going to be his nation. That's going to be what he, what Yahushua is talking about. Oh. Is the new, go okay. ahead. Okay, so you're... We, 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 we right here in Matthew 21, 43. Now you're talking about, you're saying that the kingdom was only taken from the, the chief priests and the Pharisees. Yeah. Well, then how come we don't have the kingdom right now? That's who, we, that's who he's talking to when he says they, he's speaking. In, he, 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 okay. The, 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 the disciples will always ask the Lord, Lord, why do you speak to them in parables? Why do you speak to them in wish? He said, because it's not given for them to know. It's given for you to know. And then he will go back and expound on all things with them. Okay. okay. So, right. So, when you're saying that this is a parable, all right, and a different husbandman, this is, the husbandman is him. He's the husbandman. He's talking, he's talking about, basically, he, he's downsizing them to their face without rudely and abruptly doing it, without any, like, malice on it. He's just telling them, you guys are the problem. Uh, I disagree. I disagree with them being the husband and in the parable. And the hus All right, listen. To the, let's go to the... Start at the 33, John 21, 33. Here, another parable. There was a certain householder which planted a vineyard and hedged it round about, and dig the wine press in it, and built a tower, and let it out to hus and let it out to husband men, and went into a far country. And when the time of the fruit drew near, the harvest, he sent his servants, his servants, to the husband men that they might receive the fruits of it. And the husband men took his servants and beat one and killed another and stole another. So who is the husbandman? The husbandman is the master. Who is the master? Who is our Lord? No, no, no. Read that again. The husbandman, okay, he 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 beat the cert the cert he beat he beat them. 
So how so how is the husband and Jesus? Do you know the parable? Do you know the parable where the Lord says, um, "I give you uh, uh, about the pounds." He says, um, "Give me back ten pounds." Oh, thy faithful servant have control over ten cities. Oh, you gave me five pounds. Oh, faithful servant have over five cities. Oh, you kept yours in the napkin. Take from him and give to those that have. That's him. He's beaten his servant. No. He didn't, he in this didn't, parable, in this parable, he entrusted the husbandmen with a vineyard. Okay, and he yeah. sent his servants, which are the prophets. They was coming to the nation of Israel, and Israel was beating the prophets. Israel was not fruitful. Okay? And they were the ones who were given the vineyard they were given the law okay yes and yes. they was not bringing forth fruit he kept sending Correct. prophet after prophet okay and the husbandmen would beat them and then they found the heir okay and that's going into the murder okay of Jesus on biblical record but if you look at that they were the ones that was entrusted with the law. It was Israel that was the husbandmen. They was abusing all of the servants, the prophets. He kept sending the prophets and Israel kept killing all the messengers that was sent to her. And then finally, he says, he's going to miserably destroy those prophets, which, was, which is the ultimate prophet, the nation of Israel, and then he's going to give his vineyard. He's going to entrust another nation with the law. Yeah, another nation, my friend. There's 12 nations. Listen, go to the 40. All right? Now, all that what you explained, I'm not going to disagree with you. But let's go to Matthew 21 to the 40. When the Lord, therefore, of the vineyard cometh, what will he do unto those husbandmen? Just as what you said, all right? No, because you just said the husbandman was the Lord. You just said the husbandman was Jesus. The husbandman, you have it in reverse because the servants are the ones that serve the Lord. The husbandmen eat the servants. Yes, the prophets. Yes, the prophets. Is the husbandmen are those who he's call, he's calling the priests and the Pharisees them who are the heads of Israel. He's calling them the husbandmen. The Pharisees okay, are new. The Pharisees that, just on, recently came on the scene. Because we know who he's talking to. We know who he's talking to, the scribes and the Pharisees, the chief priests. If we go back to the Matthew 21 to the 23, and when he came into the temple, the chief priests and the elders of the people came unto him, as he was teaching and said, by, uh, by what authority dost, dost thou do this? Who gave thee this authority? And then we go from the 24 all the way down to the 43 where you are. It's a conversation he's having with them because they're the husbandmen. And he's saying, you guys killed my servants. So when he says at the 40, when the Lord, therefore, of the vineyard cometh, what's the vineyard? Israel. When, when he cometh, what will he do to those husbandmen? He's basically saying, what do you think he's going to do to you guys, you chiefs? Priests, Pharisees, scribes, Sadducees, all that's in the temple. That's who he's talking to. So when you bring it down to um, to the 40, uh, what, the kingdom shall be rent from them? He's talking to them. And that he will utterly destroy them, miserably destroy them, talking to them. They didn't and have the kingdom. kingdom. Pardon? They didn't have the kingdom. Where did he say Israel he was, was Israel. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold I've been on. letting you talk, no. man. I've been no, letting no, you bro. talk, man. You hold trying on, to hog brother. it now? Because we're think, you're thinking inward, outwardly. This is why he refused for them. This is why oh, he man. didn't want them to set him up on a throne and crown and all of this that jazz. He didn't because they then they would have fought to not put him to death, and the scriptures would not have been fulfilled. He wouldn't have been able to finish the work. I disagree with a whole lot of stuff you believe. I don't believe Jesus was crucified. 
I don't believe a man can die for another man's sins. Period. Okay? That's why that's why I said I had to deal with Brother, he can't die for another man's sins as in, oh, I could go murder now, or I could go... No, he didn't die for nobody's sins, period. The Bible is against that. When that's when did people what, start dying for that's another? Not what it, that's not what it was. Hold on, man. Can I talk, he man? Died for the sins of the world. No, he never did. That's that's bull crap. What, hold on, hold on, hold on. What brings sin? Sin comes from the transgression of the law. He came to progress us out of that, to take that away, to bring us in to the law of God. Love your brother. Love your neighbor. So no, sacrifice no. is greater than obedience? Pardon? So you're saying sacrifice is greater than obedience? Uh, when the Lord says, love your brother, love your neighbor, love your friend, love all this, that, that commandment is, is, is greater than any sacrifice. Because you might have to sacrifice some things that you want to say in order to do that. So what animal sacrifice is greater than Love your brother, love your mother, honor thy mother and thy father, love your love your neighbor, love thy fellow man. What what sacrifice is greater than that? Animal sacrifice. What does that have to do with anything? You're talking about a man dying for people's sins. That is against no, the whole talking, Bible. I'm talking about a man dying. All right, that the Lord in Isaiah, read Isaiah 53, chapter 1, all from Isaiah chapter 53, verse 1, all the way to the end. It's the Most High that required it. The as, as, as a, I know, hold on, as a, as, a, as a final perfect sacrifice unto him to negate all the foolishness that they were doing in the temple, to just get it, like, get it all, get it done with. To bring in a new covenant, you have to see. No, you have to. no, my brother. Right. No, my brother, because this is the thing. No, Isaiah, no. Isaiah was sent to go and admit. Isaiah was given instructions to make the ears of the people heavy and make their hearts fat. He was told to blind the hearts of the people, and that's where you get before, that from. Before we go there, Matthew twenty-one. Okay, let's just finish there. Let's finish there. Because at the 40, he's giving parable, and what he's saying is, listen, guys, okay? Husbandmen, servants, you guys are the husbandmen, but he's not saying it. So he's saying when the Lord comes in verse 40, when the Lord comes, basically saying, when I come, all right, what should I do with this whole entire situation that you guys have control and leadership over the people, you kill the servants, the prophets who came to speak to you guys, to correct you guys, because you had leadership over the people. So he's bringing this all the way back from Aaron, from, from the time the sons of Aaron got corrupted, all the way in David's time, Solomon's time. They had these same arguments with these same priests too. And then now in the Lord's time, he's saying, well, no, when the Lord comes, what should he do with you guys? That's why he said you're going to destroy them. That's what happened in 70 AD when the temple got destroyed, when the temple got red. The kingdom that you're talking about, where did he say the kingdom of heaven is? Hold on, man. You went, you going to something else. I'm not talking about the kingdom of heaven. We're talking about right no, now. No, 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 we want, I want to finish up Matthew 21 and, and, and to the 40, and to the 43. Yeah, you're that. going to somewhere because, else. Because, because, because you, you assume in this scripture, he's speaking to everybody. No, he's speaking to them, the Pharisees, the chief priests. He's describes, talking. When, so whenever he, he whenever means. a prophet came on the scene and he said, y'all going into captivity, that did not just mean the leaders. That meant everybody. Yes. Everybody. Because, so he was talking to everybody. Who causes the people to sin? Even if we go back to when the kingdom got split, okay? And uh, after Solomon had died, okay? If we go back then, we see that the kingdom, Israel went into idolatry. Why? Because their leaders led them off into idolatry. That king led them off into idolatry. 
and the kings of Judah, sometimes they slip, then another king will come back and do things according to how David and Solomon did. Then another one would come and slip up, and they go off into idolatry. Then they would come back to the Lord, all right? Then they would take heed to prophets, and then they would come back to the Lord. All this, it kept on happening. Why? It's their leaders who lead them off into this stuff. So when he's saying that as to what you said, all right, I'm not, I'm not, saying you're 100% wrong, you're just saying you're looking at the wrong people. No, he I said the kingdom right. would be given to a heathen nation, a Gentile nation. Is it, here's what it says, therefore say I unto you, the kingdom of God shall be taken from you, all right? If you want to say taken, rented from you, same thing, all right? And given to a nation, bringing forth the fruits thereof. The fruits thereof means they're going to do what you were supposed to do. No, what about nation? You're skipping that. But that nation, that nation is Judah regardless. Because no, how can that be Judah? The word nation means Gentile, heathen. He didn't say I'm going to take the kingdom from Israel. don't mean Gentile. Gentiles are a bloodline, my friend. So that would mean if anybody says the word nation, that automatically makes them a Gentile. I'm from the nation of Islam. You're a Gentile. No, no, no. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not saying specific bloodline. I didn't say anything about Islam. I didn't say anything about Ishmael. I'm saying that Jesus said the kingdom would be taken from Israel. And given to a Gentile nation. This is exactly what Moses said. In Moses said the same thing. Let's go to Matthew 21 and 41. They said unto him, who's they? Go right back up. Okay? Go right back up, man. Who is he talking to in the temple? The chief priests. Okay, the chief priest and all of that who he's talking to. No, man. I, I just and you know what? I can agree to disagree. Will, they, he, listen, he's they talking to him, Israel, man. He will miserably destroy those wicked men. He, he, he did that to in seventy A D that happened to all of Israel. Brother, Not just the chief priests and the scribes. Brother, 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 hold on. You're quoting from the Bible telling me not to believe the Bible, but let's just hear it then. Let's just hear it. They said unto him, Matthew 21 and 41, who's they? The chief priests, everybody in the temple. All right? He will miserably destroy those wicked men. They're, they're agreeing with him. They're like, oh, yeah, he's going to destroy the husband men. Those, those guys are wicked to the servants. But they don't know he's speaking about them. That's the parable. That's why he has it in a parable, okay? They, they, they have no clue that he's speaking about them. And will let out his vineyard unto other husbandmen, which shall render him the fruits of their season. So by their own word, by their own word, hear, hear what he says. And the Lord said unto them, Did ye never read in the scriptures? The stone which the builders rejected, which is him. No, I disagree. The head of the I disagree. This is the Lord's doing. I disagree and right there. It is a marvelous, and it is a marvelous in our eyes. Therefore, say unto you, the kingdom of God. Where is the kingdom? Seek ye first the kingdom of God. Where is the kingdom of God? He said, it's within you. It's inside of you. Now, now you go. I'm talking about the kingdom. I'm talking about the the fruits that he's talking about are the nine fruits of this. No, man. No, dog. All of that, my friend. No, no. You is way off, man. Shall be taken from you. That light, no more light in you. So the disciples had the kingdom. Bringing forth the fruits thereof. So the church. So you're saying that the churches had the kingdom. What churches? The church. What church? Which? What? What church? We're talking about right now. You just said the nine fruits. You're speaking about the church of Galatia. Is that not in Galatians? 
The nine fruits have nothing to do with a specific church. Hold on, but hold on, bro. Of the, the kingdom of was God. taken from the Pharisees the and was given to who? The spirit. Who the was the spirit, my friend? Who was the kingdom the given spirit. to, my friend? Who was the kingdom given to? You're quiet now. What do you mean, who was the kingdom given? You said the kingdom was only taken from the chief priests and the scribes. Well, then who was the kingdom given to? <laughs> All those who keep his word and his commandments. How, how did they have the kingdom? The children of Israel has not had a king. The children of Israel has not had a king in 2,600 years. No, brother, you're doing all the talking. Brother, you're doing all the talking. I'm letting you do your whole commentary, and you're afraid to let me speak. Why are you afraid to let me speak? You're asking me questions. No, I ain't. You're trying to walk me through everything, and you've been talking this whole time. Okay. You ask me a question. Go ahead. Go ahead. Please, I didn't. Go ahead. Now, you literally just said the kingdom was only taken from the chief priests and the scribes, okay? And this kingdom the leaders and the wicked, the wicked, the leaders, the wicked them who cause people to do evil because they let the people Okay. Yes, then why was the apostles, okay, when Peter, they was asking Jesus, "Will you restore the kingdom to us?" And he said, it's not for you to know the times and the seasons that the Lord has put in his own power. So they did not have the kingdom. They have not had the kingdom. But hold on. Where did he say it's never going to happen that you guys are that you're saying in this day, 2024, it's impossible. He He's saying it's not for you to know when, which means it's going to happen. But you say. It ain't ever going to happen because it already went to Ishmael. It well, the like, thing is, brother, there's more well, scriptures. Never said that, there's more scriptures. There's, more scriptures. there's it more it scriptures. There's more scriptures. It's going to be for you guys. What you worried about it for? Okay, man. Just I'm going to let you talk to the air. Okay, keep talking. Man. Keep talking. I'm going to let you keep talking. Jesus said the kingdom will be given to another nation, and that word nation means Gentile, heathen nation. Okay. The children of Israel at this time had not had a king since after the time of Jeconiah's prophecy when he said there will be no more kings ruling in Judah. We haven't had a king in Judah, brother, for over 2,600 years. The church did not dominate. The church was dominated. They did not have no kingdom. They was in oppression. Okay? They haven't had nothing. They was just getting killed. They haven't had no power. So when, when the Bible says the kingdom will be given to another nation, I'm not just using this, this chapter. It talks about it in Genesis 49 and 10. It talks about it in Ezekiel 21, 25 through 27. This was the ultimate fate of Israel. And it is prophesied in Deuteronomy 32, 21. He said that I will provoke you to jealousy with a foolish nation. Now, all of the 12 tribes was there when Moses said this. OK, so when you say the kingdom was only taken from the chief priests and the chief, chief scribes, I disagree because in 70 A.D., all of Israel got expelled. And the temple was destroyed. Okay. And we haven't been back since. Mm -hmm. You know, so when we look at the scriptures in Genesis 49, 10, what does that say? Look, look at the scriptures at 49, sorry, what? Genesis 49 and 10. Hold on, are we done with Matthew 21? 2143, we've concluded. I asked you, I said, who did the kingdom go to? Okay. Okay. I told, I, and, and I told you, and, it, and as it says, in the last days, the Lord's wrath, when he comes to set all things straight, his remnant, those who believe, Israel, Gentiles, heathens, that are called by his name, them three groups, <laughs> Israelites, not all, bro. Not, definitely not all. All right? 
Gentiles and the heathens that are called by his name. That's who. Who is the king? We know who the king is. Who? He's the king of kings and the lord of lords. But where where did Jesus that? call himself a king, bro? You don't, you don't believe that. You don't He's believe not a king. Because, when they tried to make him king, he ran. The Bible says, says no more kings are going to rule in Judah. His kingdom is not of this world. My hold friend. on, bro. Said, That's his the father's king. kingdom then. Hold on, hold on. That's hold his on. father's Let's kingdom. You see? Because you jump to a whole nother discussion. I'm not going to agree with something that's not in the Bible. Jesus never once called himself a king. Ever. We got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. We got to go back to the same verse. All right. Matthew 21 into the 43. Therefore, I say unto you, the kingdom of God, the kingdom of God, the kingdom of God, not the kingdom of Israel, the kingdom oh, of God. Hold up. The kingdom of God is the kingdom of Israel. No, it ain't, man. Yes, it is. No, it ain't. When, yes, it hold is. Hold on, hold on. Go back to when, go back to when, when, uh, um, who, who was it that was the, the kingdom of, the, the king of Babylon talking about, look at the kingdom that I made, that I did with my own hands, and then immediately God said, oh, 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 go eat with, go eat with the damn field in, in, with the damn grass, uh, with the animals in the, in, in the sheep in the field. Who was, who was that? Nebuchadnezzar? Yes, that is. What does that have to do all with right, this? All right. Now, when he got his mind back and humbled himself, what did he say? It is God who grants to men all kingdoms once he humbled himself. He was speaking it to was a Gentile king. It was still called Babylon. And then God forgave that. And he humbled himself. Nowhere did he call it the kingdom of God. That's the that was the king of Nebuchadnezzar, who was a Gentile king, who yes, was the head of all we kingdoms. Know that, my friend, no, we know that. I know that. That's why I brought him up. It was still called Babylon. He never renamed it to the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God is in heaven, my friend. As it is in heaven, so shall it be on earth. The Lord said, the kingdom is within you. The kingdom of God is within you. And as he's speaking to them in 2143, okay, they don't understand none of that. Okay, so, they're okay. Looking outwardly, they're looking outwardly, buildings and ruling over people. That's not what he's talking about. So... Do you do you believe in the apocrypha? I believe the apocrypha is good for drawing out wisdom and knowledge in the history of the wars and the battles that were fought by the people of that day and the things they had to endure. Yes, and when Ezra's second person, second Ezra's, well, he pretty much you can put that beside Ezekiel and be like he's being shown the same type of things upon fasting and prayer. So those are good things to learn. Oh, but you don't agree that it's scripture? Well, what, is, what do you mean scripture? The word of God? Yeah. Because if those men were inspired to write their story through inspiration, is that not the word of God? Why I'm just asking you because some people... Why, hold on. Why can't it... Why would you ask that? Why can't it be scripture if we're looking at it and say none of us decided on what's canon... None of us decided on who the people who canonized these books that gave it to us, what was their thinking, motive, and agenda. What authorized them to call something scripture and canon? Well, in this scripture, it talks about the kingdom being taken from Israel and given to a Gentile nation. My friend, the kingdom was taken from Israel and given to Gentile nations throughout all of our disobedience to God throughout the and even till now. That's why he said he's going to come on the day of visitation to execute his vengeance. And that's why he tells his children, vengeance is his. And I, and I catch my brothers out there dressed up in purple, speaking pure nonsense on vengeance out there. And I go at them on the same thing too, brother. Don't, don't, don't think you and I are too far different in our zeal for the most high. Okay, don't we ain't, we ain't too different. <laughs> All right, <laughs> I go at them too because I one hundred percent do not agree with 
what they are doing. Okay, and brother, I, I can agree that. with you right there. I I solemnly agree with you right there. Okay. <laughs> All right. I can agree with you <laughs> on that. Okay. Trust me. Right. I agree with you right there. So if we got if if if, if, if we got a call and fight and it's the friend of my enemy is my friend, then that's be you, bro. All right. <laughs> because. I'm not hell bent on taking them down, man. I'm hell bent on getting them to repent because, man, I'm hurt by the people that follow them in full ignorance. Yeah. People who, who have never read the Bible from Genesis to Revelations and they just believe what a man says. Okay. Because they're, they're amazed at his linguistics. Okay. I, I agree with you. I agree with you on that, my friend. But as for, as for this, brother, listen, man, I'm, I ain't gonna be like you follow Islam, I follow the Bible, this, that, nah, man, because scriptures don't don't lead me to ever judge you on these things, man. The Lord led you where he led you. He led me where he led me. This is where we're at. I believe we're peaceful about it. You know what I'm saying? We, and I hope that we can remain so, and I hope that uh, you and I can grow together as, as brothers, friends, man. Okay. Right? Well, how long you been studying? Man, since four years old, bro. <laughs> I'm forty six. I'm forty six. My daddy put that book in my hand at four years old. I've been on it ever since. All right, and and bro, I got I I got Qurans. I got Hadiths. I I I I I searched it too. There was because I grew up in the tr- in the Christian church, and I felt everything that we all felt when we leave that church, man. They ain't something ain't right. I can't deal with this Trinity. You can't be this. This can't be. How, this don't make sense. I went. I went everywhere, bro. Okay. I went everywhere where our people are at, man. Okay, and my I'm, brother. And I'm right back where I started. But minus the church, minus the affiliations, minus joining up with these all because I've been all there and everything. Right. I just walk with the Lord, man. That's that's it. Okay, well, brother, uh, my testimony is I've been studying the Bible for 20 years. Um, I've been studying it for 20 years, and I've been Christian uh, for about 15 years, and and I've been uh, a part of the Israelite movement for five years. And no no one ever pressured me into Islam or anything like that, okay? I've just been reading the Bible. And I've been seeing scriptures and I see the donkey. You know the story about the donkey that talked? Okay. You know, the Bible talks about the donkey that talked um, to Balaam. And um, God opened up my eyes to scriptures to the donkey uh, being the Gentile messenger. And like I said, I don't want to I don't want to dog out what you're doing because you know what, brother? If you want to bond, we can build. But that was my testimony. And, you know, I, I love where I'm at today. And um, I do pick I do have a strong um, uh, message for Christians and I, 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 I'm doing what I'm doing. But one thing I can agree with you on, brother, and I and I want to keep that bond and I don't want to break it because of our own um, beliefs. I want to keep this bond that me and you have right now because we both is vehemently against our people being indoctrinated in these camps. That is nothing but man-made, okay? So, you know, maybe we can uh, build more on things like that. Uh, Maybe we can have a discussion about uh, how we um, don't agree with, you know, the cult or whatever, but yeah, I don't I don't want to um, like I said, I don't want to I don't want to force nothing on nobody because this wasn't forced on me. And, you know, brother, I don't want to right, take right, from right. you. I don't want to um, um, have bad uh, vibes or va- or bad blood. I'll just take this as a time that, you know, we can build. OK, so you got my number and I got yeah. yours and, you know, I'm around here. Brother, you don't have WhatsApp, though? You're not interested in getting WhatsApp? What's that? Oh, no, no, no. I don't have it, man. I don't have it, man. I have bought... I have a, I have my own personal phone number, and then I bought a phone. You know, I have a phone, okay, that's just, just for this. 
This all it is is for it's just for uh, comments, talking, building ministry. It's not my personal phone. I don't have it on me all day. I leave it at the house, and so my my personal number ain't out there. So that's why I'm not really tripping about it. It's iPhone. It can receive messages. It's unlimited. It can text whatever. Okay, so yeah, it's just it's just it's just I I'm, I'm part of a uh, I'm part of a couple of groups, man, where I send some. I don't call them teachings, man. I call them conversations. Where I, I just read scripture, break things down a little bit. I would love to invite you into that, where you know, where I could just send you them as I send it to the people that I send it to, because I'm not on YouTube or anything like that. I'm a hard man to find. So the fact that we're having this conversation, man, is God bless for sure, man. I, I'll let you know that. <laughs> so okay, so you I, have to I, have I, the WhatsApp in order to do it. To consider, huh? You have to have the WhatsApp in order to do it. Either that or Telegram. If you got Telegram, I could send them on Telegram or something like that. But you know, WhatsApp would be better, so I could just hit you up one time. But um, okay. as I'm saying, uh, it, it, I, I'm just going to leave you with that. As we go on and we conversate, man, maybe feel a bit more comfortable later on or whatever it is with your personal number, we could get to that. So no pressure on it, man. I'm just, I'm just opening that up to you. All right, cool. I'm going to do that, man, and then I'll get back at you. You go. I'm gonna go get some more sleep before the sun fully rises over here on the east coast. Oh, you on the east? Okay. Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. I'm on the west. Yeah, no, man. Bakersfield is. Uh, huh? Where you at, Bakersfield? Nah, man. I'm all the way in Tehachapi. I'm up oh, in the okay, mountains. Okay. I'm elevated, way up. Yeah, I'm. Oh, I'm. Right, I'm, I'm. I'm actually. Actually, I'm probably about. Um, 45 minutes from Bakersfield. So you, you hit it right on. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Good All stuff, right. man. Yes, sir. Well, brother, be blessed and be safe out there, man. All right, you be blessed and be safe as well, all right? All right, thank you, man. So we'll talk later. Definitely, I'll message you up or feel free to hit me up anytime, man. All right, same here, man. All right. Well, and your name again I is what? Tell you how, I want to call you House of David. So what is your name, brother? What can I call you? Daquant. Daiquan? Yep, Daiquan with the T. Only name like that, Daiquan. D Y Q U A N T. Okay, Daiquan. D Y Q U A N T. Daiquan. D Y the Quant, the Quant. D Y Q U A N T. A N T. Yeah. Yeah. The quant. Yep. That's me. The Quant. Right. Yep, that's my real All name. All right, brother, sounds good, man. Yep. And yours All again? Right, huh? Well, yours again? Well, Yata L, you can just call me Yata L, man. Yata L? I got you. Yes, sir. All right, cool, bro. Yata L. That's mm. different, man. <laughs> that's that's the first I heard. Given to me by the only one, man. Given to me by the only one. All right. <laughs> Same here. <laughs> All right. So we All both right. got names that no man's heard before, Daquan. <laughs> That's right. That's right. I don't. I don't believe in chance, man. I believe in providence, bro. All right, my brother. All right, definitely. Man, have a good day. Be blessed. Yep. You too. Bye. All right. Bye. That right there was an opportunity to bond instead of bash, you know. I'm fully convinced in Islam, and I found Islam from the Bible, and I love it. It taught me structure. Um, I have a prayer life now, all because of Islam, and I love it. But I didn't want to take that opportunity um, to bash a brother sometimes you gotta agree to disagree all right and that's what we did we bonded because we found something that we had we had common ground with and it's the cult it's the cult it is the cult um these camps how they lying to our people all right and so with that being said shalom Israel and assalamu alaikum to my brothers and sisters in the truth. True, 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 true.